I'm Bill Scott, and this is History Minute. On February 2nd, 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was signed, ending the Mexican-American War. The war had went on since 1846, when a dispute over certain areas of South Texas erupted into warfare. After a succession of victories and the Mexican Army's capitulation at Mexico City, negotiations were begun by U.S. Envoy Nicholas Trist. The causes of the war were not delineated in the treaty, such as the land dispute and, to go back further, Mexico's refusal to acknowledge Texas's independence and subsequent annexation to the United States. The U.S. would pay $15 million for land that would comprise that what is now all of California, Nevada, and Utah, most of Arizona, and parts of Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. It also stipulated that all Mexican citizens living on the lands had the choice to move to what had remained in Mexico or become U.S. citizens, with around 90% choosing the latter. This acquisition helped the U.S. achieve its manifest destiny and spread westward to the Pacific. It also surfaced the question of whether or not slavery should be allowed, one that would ultimately lead to civil war. I'm Bill Scott, and this was History Minute.